G'day, how you going? My name's Dan and welcome to the Green and Gold Life. Radio. in this week's vid, what we're looking to do is to trial some slow release neem as an organic preventative for lawn grubs. So what we're looking to control are things like uh, sod webworm, armyworm and African black beetle. So let me preface this video by saying neem is not a registered pesticide. I have used it here as a knockdown on my property last season and, uh, and it did a good job, eh? Uh, it's just what I'm looking to do now is apply it a little bit earlier and hopefully carry out some protection over the season to prevent anything else from popping up. So uh, as you can see, my turf is still recovering from a renovation. So I still have some sort of dead spots up by the top where I'd stored some tanks over winter time. And uh, the ramp up here is, is still filling in. So um, we're now sort of, this is the second week. So we're just about to start our third week of recovery. So that's why the lawn's looking a little bit ratty at this point. So uh, let's jump into it, eh? Rightio, so I wanted to kick off our little trial here with a soapy water test. Basically, I've seen a few magpies pecking up me lawn. So depending on which kind of bird is pecking at your turf will depend on what they're after. So if you've got magpies just pecking at your deck, that'll mean they're chasing um, grubs and protein and whatnot because they're carnivores. However, if you've got um, galahs or anything like that, they are herbivores. So they're chasing the sugars in the stolons. So that's why um, uh, that's the separation between the two. So I might be expecting to see some mole crickets because I've, I reckon I've still got a remainder from last year that I hadn't sprayed out yet. But I'm not quite expecting to see any lawn grubs. Basically, I don't think the soil temperatures have been high enough for long enough to warrant them to, um, to hatch yet. So, uh, but I have seen uh, magpie activity. So what I want to do is just get a little bit of soapy water out and see what we got. Let's do it. Radio, as suspected, our soapy water test didn't really yield much. I did find something that maybe, you know, at a stretch, could be a, a sod web worm or an army worm, but it was miles too juvenile to tell what it really was. So, um, look, there's always going to be something in our soil profile looking to nibble at roots and make our lives hell throughout the growing season. So don't worry about it. You best get in early and try and take care of it. So I've got these uh, neem granules here from the plant doctor. So this is a slow release neem. Uh, they're telling me it lasts up to three months in the soil profile. Now, if that is the case, this is going to take me through to about uh, the end of January and I might not need to reapply. So um, that three month window is mostly where our lawn grubs are juvenile and cause that damage to our turf. So um, I might not need to reapply after that, but we'll see how we get on. Neem is effective in two modes of action. Number one, when it's absorbed by the plant, and in the root system, what it'll do is um, when the lawn grubs go to eat it, it'll plug up their guts on the inside and uh, eventually starve them to death. The second mode of action is uh, it'll coat their skin and um, when they go to go through their next instar, which is dive a little bit deeper into the soil profile, it'll prevent their, their shedding. So it'll kill them off that way as well. So that's why I'm getting the neem out today. Right, yeah, let's do it.
Alrighty, so we're going to leave our precipitation simulation device here <laughs> to water in the rest of our name. So if you guys are in the market for any organic uh, fertilizers or soil amendments, even some neem as a knockdown or possibly a preventative, we'll see, uh, hit the boys up at the plant doctor. They've uh, been generous enough to supply us with a discount code, TGGL10. Uh, if you pop that in at checkout, the boys will give you 10% off on the way out the door, so check them out. If you guys are um, new to lawn care or a little bit you know, intimidated by the whole process, I do have some lawn care plans available on my website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can go and check them out. There's a bit of merch for sale there as well. All right, you guys do me a wicked mad favor and take it easy. I'll chat you on. Oh man, got my sweet new kicks dirty. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs>